Hello world, my name is John Zmickley and I'm a senior lecturer at Texas State University and I'm recording this video for the Fundamentals of Digital and Online Media class at Texas State and um, just wanted to show you how to make a basic HTML file. Anyone can do it, um, whether you have a Mac or a PC or an awesome computer or a terrible computer, anyone can make an HTML file. Um, all you're going to need is a text editor and a browser. Um, there's lots of different text editors. I'm going to use this one called Text Wrangler, which you can download for free if you're using a Mac. Um, if you're using a PC, you can use a program called Notepad. Um, if you do not have Text Wrangler, then if you have a Mac, you can also use um, a program called Text Edit. That's T E X T E D I T, and that is a free program that comes with any Mac computer. Um, and the free program for any PC will be Notepad. So I'm going to get started here with Text Wrangler. I like Text Wrangler for lots of different reasons, uh, one of which is that it color codes your code. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with this tag called HTML. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell my browser to start reading the language of HTML. And I'm going to go down several spaces and then using the slash I'm going to tell the browser to stop reading HTML. So I gave it a command and then I told it to stop doing something else. Now there's two major parts to any HTML document and that would be the head. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then the body. Now 99.9999 percent of all the stuff that you see in a website occurs in the body. Um, up here in the head, um, you will see some, you'll see the effects of what you put in the head, but you really won't see what's there. Um, one thing that is in the head is this tag called title, and that is kind of a way to tag your uh, website. It is also what appears up in the very top of the browser when you open it up. So I'm just going to give the title of this um, HTML file, I'm going to call it uh, John's First Website. And then I'm going to do a dash and say home, because this is my home page. And I'm going to go ahead and close that title. So right now, if I were to save this file, I'm going to put it on my desktop, just so I can find it easily. You may want to save it on a thumb drive or um, somewhere else, but I'm again going to my desktop and I'm going to save this not as untitledtext2.html, I'm going to save it as index.html. The index page is basically the home page for any website you go to. Um, any site that you go to is going to have an index page. And so this is the home page for your student biography site. And so that is what you're going to save it as as well. Call it index.html. Don't call it your last name.html. Don't call it home.html. Just call it index.html. Another thing that you're going to want to make note of while you're saving this is that you'll notice that I'm saving it in lowercase. Make sure that anything uh, file that you're working with is lowercase. Um, and it's all one word, so it says index.html. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and you'll see it appear on my desktop. And there it is, index.html. I'm going to double-click it and open it up in a browser, and there it is. It's a whole lot of nothing right now. But when you look up here in the tab, you do see that title pop up, okay? So that way I do know that it is working. So from here on out, I can sit here and continue coding my site, um, and I can save my file here in my text editor, and then I can refresh it in my browser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to give my body an H1 tag, which means it's the largest heading that I could possibly have. And I'm going to say welcome. And I'm going to close that tag. And then I'm going to go ahead and write out a paragraph. Um, this is my website and you can go on and on and on and keep typing anything that you ever want to type there. So now let me test this out. I'm going to go ahead and save it, file, save, and then I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to refresh it and there it is. It popped up. Popped up. That's how I know that it worked. So that is just very, very simply how to create a um, an HTML document. Again, anyone can do it. Um, just continue saving it and refreshing it in your browser and Bring your file to lab because we're going to work on these in lab.